Hey, it's a quick tutorial <clears throat> to cover how Google Trends can be used for marketing um, to get ideas on how to market your services or to actually look for uh, products um, that are of interest to people or to know how to market um, or get ideas based on events that are happening out there. And so we'll start. So Google Trends actually gives you an idea on what people are searching for and we'll go in here and what you can easily say is that with google trends <clears throat> you can um actually understand how to go about marketing or looking for what people are and understand what people are thinking about which as a business owner or as a marketer that is what we call marketing research so Log into Google Trends, it's pretty open. Anybody can go here, and as you can see, it's the United States over here. And the menu bar is over here. So we'll explore the menu bar real quick. And what we'll do here is actually we'll use um, a service. As if we have a business as a service, we have a business as a product. Um, or we're marketing based on businesses that are centered around events. Those are the three things that we'll cover. And so let's look here again. Here's the Google Trends, and here's the menu. And under the menu tab, of course, you could see home, explore, trending searches, year in search, um, subscriptions. And we'll go over these first, uh, these first top ones, top ones here. The subscription is uh, for the things that you want to subscribe to in there. Um, so here, just as an open source, we'll go. So you look at home, which is where we are right now. And on the home page. You could see here, um, enter a search term or topic. This is where you can easily put in something. And you see how, or start with an example, interest by sub-region in the past seven days in the United States, interest by region, past seven days worldwide, example, World Cup, uh, football, uh, and American football. And so it gives you uh, various interests that are already happening there that you could pick up from, you know, food for Ram and Silva and all that. Um, good thing, too, is on the homepage, latest stories and insights. Explore how Google data can be used to tell stories. Year in search 2020. Explore the year through the lens of Google Trends data. This um, shows you that they also provide helpful information there. The coronavirus search trends, uh, U.S. presidential transition, because we're currently going through all that now. And when you click there, it goes deeper into more detail trending insights 1 8 2021 20, 5000 searches on Brisbane lockdown 750% i mean 5000% increase searches on Brisbane lockdown 750% uh increase in what states have new covid strain breakout Quebec curfew we get to see the world um from a coronavirus lens the searches on the hot spots it's pretty interesting as you could see because as you click on them you also see the number of searches and the interests over there and we'll go back here um and so we, we we could see that also with the presidential election that just happened we also get to see <clears throat> search trends with regards to that um that's interesting biden skin color chart trump threatens biden uh, these are quite interesting so cabinet members resigning and whatnot so it gives you an idea again on what's pretty much going on in different fields and based on what you um have to offer um you can gain your insights uh there okay recently trending and this is in the united states too just to be precise just to be let everybody know because you can always change this to a different country recently trending these are the recently trending searches right now top trending searches in the united states and the amounts 50k search 50,000 searches here mega millions to oh wow two million searches on the mega millions and more trending searches now the year in search gives you the last few years um what's trended per year and uh, of course 2020 just um came out google new initiatives um so that's the home page um and then explore and under explore is where you can add your search term pretty much similar to the home page um but here you also see uh search topics that are rising um in general search queries uh topics and queries uh that are pretty much um, hot right now and under explore which is pretty much where we'll be going to next is where you could just type any 
uh, term to see what's going on and you hit enter and then you see that but we'll come back to that since we're still doing going to the menus trending searches again this gives it a little bit more specific uh, more specific data more specific more specific information on what people are searching for and the amounts of searches and when you do this over here you get to see all the related news related to that search and you can share it as you can see over here on Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Tumblr uh, you can email it RSS um, you can embed it and uh, it tells you really what's going on uh, there if you have any questions on how it works and then the year in search uh, which was what again we saw on that home page but here's a breakdown of it uh, election results coronavirus Kobe Bryant so we see all the things that have been trending in general um, over the year uh, last year so now let's jump uh, 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 back to um, explore because again we want we're this is just the overview um, on the menu but we want to see how if I have a business that I provide some services I want to know how to market one or if I need to uh, know what kind of product um, to provide and I, again as I said we'll be using um, insurance as a service earring as a product and um, Easter actually as a holiday and so let's start with insurance and when we do insurance here let's see that as you can see you get to see the topic insurance life insurance category vehicle insurance or categories and when we click the topic insurance it lets us know what's going on and this again is worldwide so we're in the United States if you're selling worldwide you could use that but we will for the sake just to narrow stuff down let's do the United States here and stuff and now over the United States past 12 months we get to see the searches on insurance in general as you can see an average of 79 searches uh, be between December 6th and the I mean 91 searches between December 6th and the 12th there and you also see the regions on uh, uh, the regions where the insurance search sorry insurance <laughs> searches were going on so here um, as you can see New York we break it down and in New York we see it's like wow 88 people are actually searching on the average between March 8 and 14 um, and then it breaks down again even further in New York and when you hover over this you get to see the search interests per locality isn't that pretty cool kind of breaks it down for you and then you see related topics to that unemployment benefits individual uh, omission unemployment insurance and why log in which that makes sense because a lot of people are going through tough times right now um, is life insurance tax, tax deductible and all that and that's pretty much in New York and it changes per um, our region so now let's go into um, let's say vehicle insurance because let's say you don't uh, let's say you provide vehicle insurance and you want to know what's going on and this time around let's say you li live in one of these sub regions regions here um, so we'll go to Illinois and over here in Illinois you could see vehicle insurance 69 searches between May 17 and the 23rd in 2020 uh, January 3rd to 91 vehicle insurance 75 searches and these are all where all these searches are going on as you can see in Illinois um, so if you're writing business in Illinois for insurance you have um, an idea where all the hot searches are taking place as you can see now Safeco insurance topic breakout peak and insurance topic breakout classic car topic breakout so now if you're marketing an insurance and you're looking for ways to market now is a good time to say hey classic cars um, we offer insurance great insurance for classic cars because for some reason or the other people are searching for it auto insurance near me the near me is always huge because when people want to search for stuff they want to get it around them so it lets you know that people want a local insurance agent cheap full coverage car insurance so there's th this you could stress 
hey, um, local insurance agent that's going to cover, help you cover everything you need that you can call anytime. Full coverage auto insurance, motorcycle insurance. And so this gives you an idea. And you can actually drill down again. As we can see here, Rockford is really where it's happening right now. So for an insurance agent in Rockford, uh, they might be having um, a good time now because the search interests uh, for the past uh, few months in Rockford has been that. And now what is also interesting is we could go into the past 30 days to actually see that. And now you could see that that changes. And in the past 30 days, we go back to Illinois. Let's see, are we still in the past 30 days? Yes. And then it covers, you see, December 13th. So currently where we are right now and still the search interest per region. So this is pretty cool. And now let's click Chicago, for instance. Yep. And then we see there on the average and down here we see related topics. All state insurance companies, State Farm, Liberty Mutual, related queries, car insurance, auto insurance. But here's the, the, the thing is the breakouts. The breakouts show you those that have just taken off. That's just broken out because you can see here it's 140 percent plus, 110 percent plus, 110 percent plus. That's in searches. And so those are the breakouts. So that lets you know now that um hey if you're offering insurance classic cars are pretty uh our people are looking for that um insurance agents near them they're looking for that now let's go into and and also the good thing is you can then add those keywords to your website you could use those keywords in your um social media so now we're going to do a product let's do earring as a product and so we see that even men's uh, earring as a topic, girl with pearl earring, we see all the topics here. So, but we're searching for the earring topic. So we'll do that. And let's go back to, um, let's see, the United States. So let's say you offer um, a jewelry business and you sell earrings. Again, in jewel, when you do jewelry, you might be offering earrings and uh, bangles and bracelets and different stuff. But now you want to see exactly what to market in your earring uh, section and how to market it. This is a good place to go and see what people are actually looking for. And so now for the past 30 days, if you are selling earrings, it'll be good to, one, maybe think about marketing in New York, Delaware, Vermont, Louisiana, Alabama. If you could ship them <laughs> around the country, that's what this tells you that means if you want to do a Facebook live that you're going to sell your earrings it'll be good to target cities like New York Delaware Vermont Louisiana Alabama hope this is making um, um, sense now and when we look at it these are the related topics Dave piercing Travis piercing jewelry store diamond cut uh, and the related queries are one carat diamond earrings, climber earrings, diamond hug earrings, as you can see. And these let us know what people are searching for. B topic, earlobe, amethyst, the gemstone. So if you have all these things, you can start to market them. Cartilage topic, you know. Um, right here, ring organizer. Wow, you see that? And this is not even an earring. This is an earring organizer, as you can see. So if you're, if you are, um, if you build stuff, 3D printing, wood, as you can see, even not being in the jewelry business, the earring organizer seems to be something good to, to make. Um, and that lets you know that. And you could also, again, break it down per region. So when we go into New York, Again, to figure out exactly what they want there, we see all the hot spots here. The darker the color, excuse me, the more you get to see. So here, Cartier, uh, Cartier Jewelry Store, Screw, uh, David Human Jewelry Company. And you, these are also things that you could use as targeting key words when you're doing your ads, knowing that people are looking for diamond stud earrings at 140% increased search recently, knowing that they're looking for uh, this jeweler and if you're offering this <clears throat> you can easily market that you know when we click that we see the interest over time based on that topic too and we see how they really want that designer in New York and mostly it's the necklace again gives us an idea there's a ring but the breakout is the necklace the brand which means pretty much it's pretty much hot right now 
that lets you know if you're doing drop shipping and stuff and they ask what products you want and you can offer that instead of going to pick something else that people do not are not really searching for now you pick this it becomes a perfect marriage and now marketing research becomes very easy for you right from where you are so that's pretty pretty cool um, and as you can see again all these things you can download them embed them and you can share them and these are going through web searches again we have the opportunity to look at different you could do image search news search Google shopping or YouTube search you look at all those and because that's a little specific let's go over here now we're in the earring now let's go to YouTube search for earrings see gives us how I mean what people are searching for new search for earrings not much um, image search for earrings lets you know see so that's pretty cool all right going to the next one now we are going to use an event and since the next major event coming up is Easter we are gonna search for Easter <clears throat> which should be April and this lets us know what is going on so let's go back to the United States so if you were offering uh, products for Easter or looking for what to do um, Easter you could easily come out here um, and let's see Easter uh, let's do the festivity so it gives us a little bit more specific stuff now as we can see the Easter basket is a breakout topic so if you are looking for things to do if you're a weaver right now as you can see you as a, a weaver now could start making a lot of baskets to sell on Etsy uh, because a lot of people are searching for it a rabbit if you make stuffed animals because Easter is coming um, the Easter Bunny topic Easter egg if you make books and all that that is, those are searches right now and as you can see in the subregion these are all where this is where it's going so most probably if we click South Dakota will it give us more information no but let's go maybe past 30 days to 90 days do we get a little bit more information no all right um, Sioux Falls there so when there's not enough data we don't see it but when there is we do but we get to see how and all what the related queries are so again if you offered one of these you could go um any easter products right now if you had a store what i would put front and center is the baskets because a lot of people are looking for it. what i'll be mentioning social media or the baskets because a lot of people are looking for it so that's how to use um google trends one to find out how to market and the relatable terms to market so again if you had the if you didn't have a product that was a basket here you could start to create the basket but then what then again you do is then ring it out and clear that we have baskets we have baskets we have baskets and what Google Trend has done from a market research and business strategy research standpoint for you is one it has let you know the product people are searching for so you can get it one and it helps excuse me it has also let you know how to market it based on how people are searching and those things are very very key that's data that man back in the day we had no access to that companies would pay a lot of money for that but you as an individual you as an entrepreneur you as a marketing strategist can easily come right now in here and do that so that's how you can use Google Trends uh, for marketing uh, or for business strategy and uh like and subscribe like um and subscribe if you want to see more digital marketing um, tips and more web app tips to help your business and brand